What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So it's, there's a lot of talk about electric boats right now uh, and all that. So I was thinking of make perhaps if what it would happen if I converted this boat into an electric boat uh, and what will that mean? Uh, so I'm gonna do some rough calculations and a lot of assumptions and try to calculate what that would mean for my boat. All right, let's start with my uh, consumption. Fuel consumption is about 2.5 liters per nautical mile that's my consumption put it there and when I do about 22 knots at 22 22 knots I burn about 55 five liters per hour <clears throat> energy for gasoline is eight point nine four Eight point nine four kilowatt hours per liter. All right, so if we take uh, fifty five liters per hour times eight point nine four kilowatt hours per liter, that will will give me kilowatt hours per hour or kilowatts. Okay, so that will be four nine one. That's 491 kilowatt. 2.5 nautical miles, liters per nautical miles at 22 knots, 55 liter per nautical per hour, and 9 kilowatt hours per liter gives me 491 kilowatt. The interesting thing here now is that my engines produce, this is the rated power of my engines. 283 kilowatts where does the energy go guys you just put it up there it's not significant for this calculation I'm not gonna use that one it's totally relevant this is the energy I put in to be able to do this that's just math just that's just energy continuing and let's say I got an efficiency of 15% on my engines Efficiency of 15%. Can remove this one. Rest is heat, friction. Yeah, everything translates into heat. But that will give me 74 kilowatt of actual energy going out to the props. Something like that. A lot of assumptions, but you know, put it up there. That's the that's a target. That's the target we'd have. So let's put in an electric motor at an efficiency of 90%. Gas, electric. So we need 74 kilowatts of power. Efficiency of 90% gives me 92. I need 82 kilowatts of electric power in my engine. So 82 is the target. I went into some sites, searched for some electric motors for cars. And I found one uh, and a site. Uh, the next thing we're gonna come into is weight. Um, so we can check some weights. 
So for that 82 kilowatt motor was 128 kilos. One hundred twenty-eight kilograms for the electric motor. Let's do this. Kilowatt, kilowatt. Let's put it there. And gas, electric. Let's go into the kilograms now. Electric engine motor, electric motor, 128 kilograms. My two stern Reimer cruiser engines gives me a total of 720 kilograms. That's the weight of my gas engines. Fuel. I have a capacity of about 400 liters. Let's make it easy and put 400 kilograms of fuel. It's 400 kilograms of fuel. Gives me a total weight. One one two zero kilograms down there, and to get to that same balance of one one two zero kilograms, that's how much batteries I can have. So let's check the batteries. So they usually say that car batteries have a density of about one hundred watt hours per kilogram. Okay, all right, that gives me something here that is uh, 992 kilograms. 992 kilograms, that is what the amount of batteries I can put in. And battery, as a, for these type of systems, car batteries for electric cars, have about a density of 100 watt hours per kilogram. That gives me a capacity of 99.2 kilowatt hours that's the energy I can store in that amount of batteries it's 99.2 kilowatt hours let's assume we have 80% efficiency in the system or we can only take down to 20% battery capacity so let's say we can use 80% of the energy without doing any damage and you know, that's usually how you drive your electric car. So 80% is what you, what you can use. That will give us usable energy of about 79 kilowatt hours. 80% is what we can use out of the batteries. That gives us this amount. Something like that. And if we take that, we need 82 kilowatts and we have 79. So 79 divided by 82 is zero. Zero point nine six hours. That's for how long we can drive our electric boat. Remember the energy we had in the beginning? And that will be about 21.2. That would give us a range of 21.2 nautical miles. You still see that? Is that too far down? No, it's perfect. All right, so we got a range of 21.2 nautical miles. And to compare with the gasoline, which was 400 liters, I don't have, about 400 kilograms at 2.5, gives us 
range of 160 nautical miles. So this is what it looks like if I should convert my boat into an electric boat. With the consumption I have, the energy I need, the efficiency of, of my engines down to uh, the efficiency or the power I need in an electric motor and then use all the weights to have the same weight of total of the boat. So engine weight of 720 compared to 128 for the electric motor. We have 400 kilograms of fuel I can translate to 992 kilograms of batteries to have the total weight that I had before and then use about 80% of that energy gives me 79 kilowatt hours to drive 0 0.96 hours and that will be 21.2 nautical miles compared to 160 nautical miles for the gasoline right as you can see really quick calculations with a lot of assumptions but it will give you a ballpark uh, so that will give me about one seventh of the range and then I have to recharge the battery and all that so I think it's quite in interesting to do these calculations all right guys please comment about this down in the comment let's have a discussion about it it's super interesting hope you like this video please subscribe hit that notification so you don't miss out on future videos and i'll see you in the next one